Hello and welcome to yet another episode with Jürgen Müller. Today, July 16, 1918, we're going up for yet another mission. And we are not doing a balloon attack. We are doing an offensive patrol and we are in the DR-1 again. So, let's just head over to that mission and see, see what happens in the balloon attack. And before the, I don't know if it's before or after the balloon attack, but at least, or during, whenever, there is at least enemy planes coming in and we need to scramble. Uh, and alert patrol, which I guess is to scramble. It does not have the same, but at least we're not in it, so let's just continue and hope they deal with it. Have. Let's we'll see that after our mission, which is an offensive patrol. So let's see what we have. We are in no longer in the DR1. We are in the D7 now. I guess they had to re reorganize the planes for uh, for the scramble. Okay, the patrol route is uh, shorter than last time, so we're all over. All the way over here. I didn't get the over here somewhere, but at least it's shorter than last time, and we are. I'm not sure what we're attacking. Then there's a way to jump. He didn't, and the machine he smashed to nothingness. Okay. That didn't say anything. Gathering winds. Engage and destroy any enemy aircraft of observation balloons. Okay. So it's just. just a turkey shoot of anything that's up there. Okay, let's see you in on the field. Alright, we are in our D7. And this time she started up without a hitch. I'm not a flight leader, am I? No. I'm the lowliest of low. So, what do we have here? D7, DR1, DR1, DR1. Yeah, not a bad set of planes, I'd say. Quite a strong breeze from behind. Oh, that will make this this fight a bit uncomfortable, I'd say. Going straight into that wind. That could, of course, only be at ground level. Let's hope. Now, how do you react? Not that bad. Okay, let's make a little cut here and we'll get back when something interesting happens. Okay, we are now at the edge of no man's land. Uh, our flight lead has taken off all by himself. 
and actually disappeared. I do not see him at the moment. We have oh dear one friend up there. Ah oh, there we have the fight lead. And the rest of our flight is back there, and there's two other planes actually. Not sure what they are. Doesn't seem to be hostile. And the balloon disappeared. Or it's inside the cloud. I'm not sure. There was a balloon here a second ago. Let's. Yeah. I wasn't. Why is there German? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Let's go straight through this cloud and hope we don't hit that balloon. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Good. True it at least. Which puts on quite a nice attack part, that balloon. Good, we're attacking another one. See what we can do here. Jam and ah, nice hits, nice hits. Planes up there, swirling around. Probably my friendlies, all of them. The question is, what is that? Because those are four planes. And that is a single... Those are two planes. And they are taking flight from the Allies, or the Entente. While these... Don't. That is coming for me. That is not coming for me. Let's mm, greet you. Yeah. That's yes, most definitely not a friendly plane. Camel? Could be. Come on, don't do this, swirly swirl. 
Okay, um... Good hits on that one. It's not us. Ah, bad burst. Very bad burst. But at least he's leaking. So he should be more or less out of the fight. Uh, we got another flight of a lot of planes. I'm not sure what he's doing now, but I think I'd rather get some height here. Is he trying? Right. No, those are most likely German. He, he is heading for home. By the look of it. No, he's, he's going down. Yeah, no, I don't want to approach those airfields. Are they coming for me? Yep. Yes, they are. Are they... Are they hostile? They don't appear to be hostile. No, those are D7s. And I've lost sight of the camel. Let's assume he, he went down. He was quite wounded, so I think I got a good hit on his um, his engine there. He was leaking fuel. I think our flight is over there. Yes. He's leaking fuel, and he did puff something else, so it's probably... Uh, leaking oil as well. here in the clouds this one way up there a couple of them over there let's see what it is we have in the clouds let's see if we can jump a um, two-seater or something because I think they could be, of course, be my my flight. Those up there are definitely my flight. Yep, more planes to the left. There are a lot of planes in the area. are DR1, are they? Let's check, probably DR1s.
Yes, they are the other ones. What is that then? It's over by our side of the lines. It doesn't take any flak. So I presume it's friendly as well. Those could probably be my flight. What do we have up here? And that does look like a... No, that's... A German scout, apparently. check out these two fellas hanging over here. Unless they don't take any flag I would assume they are friendless as well. Taking some grey flag would indicate friendless but who knows. I can't really make them out at the moment. They don't seem to be Sesky planes. But it's hard to tell with all this uh, propeller flickering. That, on the other hand, is taking flak. Looks a bit like an R E eight. If I see correctly, high wingspan, sesky design, quite slow. Now this is in a bit of a dangerous position, considering it's in the clouds, and I don't really want to. Gauge it up there and down there. That will make probably mean certain death. That is indeed an RE8. Or is it? Another one. Guess it's gunners dead or something. No, not maybe not, maybe not. Definitely not. Let's get him some distance and get him in a 
more. With a bit more speed. So this is a good angle. That's good angle. And we ah, lift our nose just as it passes over. Let's climb above him a bit. He should be faster than him. He... Ah, oh, there he is. Diving a bit, huh? Any other planes in the area? Nope. But he has his airfield. And airfields means flat. Where did you go? There you are. I am pressing my luck a bit here. But luckily he's running away. And this fella has been over our lines. So he most certainly has valuable information about our troop movements. So we don't want him to get away. Very low. I think I'm a bit too high with my pot shots. That's probably better. So if this would have been Battle of Stalingrad, I would now have been jumped by every fighter. Okay, we're taking a bit too much fire now.
as this engine is going out. This gunner is not. Yep, he's coming for me. Didn't expect that. Hmm, what do we have here? Another one? What is that? Yep, that's another RE8. Which means our probability there. We're about as good as dead. Alright, that's it. Ah, crap. Going s from the frying pan into the fire. Oh no you don't. Scallywag. How can it still fly? get a bit of altitude. Let's just see so we don't... What is that? That's a car. Hmm. I could read this fun takedown. Oh, that's an A8 truck. And that's a quad. And those are three planes. Oh, that's a whole convoy of A8 trucks. Should be heading east. This is... This is not... I didn't expect there to be 15 of them. Or whatever the number was. I didn't expect there to be... Hmm, I wonder, could they be... My friend list, maybe. Are we coming in on... I... You play. You press. You play. I don't know how much ammunition I have left. I wouldn't expect it to be that much. And my fuel is about halfway. I think that's my fuel gauge at least. Yes, we have plenty of fuel left. So let's see.
I think we're saying better safe than sorry this time and head for home. After all, we're down an RE8. Down the new port, didn't we? No, not not a new port, a camel of some sort, or a sopwith of some sort. What I'd really like to shoot down or shoot apart or yes, destroy is a train. But I don't see any obvious rail tracks right here. We're up at a kilometer, that's good. Alright, let's make another cut here, and uh, if something interesting happens, we'll we'll get back. Otherwise, I'll see you on the in the aerodrome. And as we approach the aerodrome, our friendly flight arrived next to us. Um, should be that. Yeah, it should be that one. Yeah. Um, we seem to have lost one DR1. Just that two DR1s above me and a uh, Fokker D7 below me. Right there. So, guess we. Weren't a hundred percent lucky this day. Got a few balloons though, and a couple of planes. You can always hope that the last DR1 is just a straggler. Maybe caught in a dogfight somewhere, claiming yet another victory for the German Empire, for the Kaiser. Let's see what. White flare, does that mean our D7 there is going into land? I think so. Well, I'd say that was better handling of an RE8 this time. Still not good enough. I think. Uh, some sort of booming zooming would be more efficient just to get that middle part of the wing which is quite brittle which would make them fall apart like a card of a house of cards instead of pumping round after round into the, the engine gunner and pilot which we did There's not a shortage of uh, air drones here. There's one over there and there's two there and we have ours right here. Let's get it down a bit more. And utilize that landing strip that we favored last time. See if we can avoid the forest. Don't need a landing strip. I think we need a bit more power though, so we don't stall out.
No planes on the field. Stop right in front of our squad lead. Well, I call that precision, good sir. Precision. Excellent. Let's see you all on debrief. Welcome, welcome. We have two plane kills. Yeah, that must have been the camel and the, and the RE8. And we have two balloons confirmed. Jihad Thomas also got a balloon. Aunt Kaisa destroyed a vehicle. That's interesting. Too bad he can't tell what, what kind of vehicle it was, because it's dead. Uh, that means he was with the squadron for two short days, but destroyed the vehicle. A shame, a shame. I had high hope for Ernst Kaiser. Anyhow, it's a victory for the Kaiserreich. No, the Kaiserreich, maybe it's Austria. No, Kaiser Wilhelm. So this would be a Kaiserreich as well. Anyhow, what we got? We got a sub with camel, flown by the Belgians, and an RE8, flown by what is it, second lieutenant Bruce Atkins. Uh, so medium, I guess. Yeah, that's quite good. Aunt Kaiser killed in action, got a vehicle, no idea what that means. All in all, 10 points. Let's see, the balloon attack destroyed one SPAD-13 and one balloon from Peter Kruger, who was wounded in the process, not sure how. Could be with the SPAD maybe. The alert patrol, okay, let's guess the SPAD-7, not, not much to... Uh, yeah, that wasn't that good. But it was done by Fritz Schreiber, making his second kill in just two days. The star on the rise, that man. And we, with our decent tally of two planes and three balloons and one vehicle. So let's see what next day has to offer. Not much, just not a good July day, a bit cold with 18 degrees, but that is uh, for next time. So I'll thank you very much for your views and uh, hope you can uh, subscribe to the channel if you saw what you liked, or if you like what you saw rather, and I'll see you in the next mission. Thank you very much.